How to stop your thirst. I often say to be honest with yourself, lying to yourself about certain things will be more damaging than beneficial. So first of all, to understand my thirst is to understand the reason for my mouth being dry. See, a woman's body is a work of art, not all of them, but whether it's built into our nature or it just is, a woman's body is understandably one of the most stunning things a man could behold. However, in understanding you are drawn to the physical, it then becomes a case of what you would deal with to get close to her. As in, she's the hook, her, the way she looks, the way she is, or a combination of that and many other things. But it then becomes a case of, if you want it, you also have to want her personality and character as well, everything that comes along with her. But this is why you should learn to control your thirst, because for as stunning as she may look, she could have an awful personality. But this is how we as men can be fools, because no matter how bad she may be, the hook is wedged deep betwixt your balls, keeping you on your toes. Thirst can be so wild in men that even if she is not giving you any, or will ever give you any, you will still see men hanging around in hopes. The sad case of many men standing there, with their manhood in their hands, trying to give it to her. See, to understand yourself is to see, my god, she's stunning, but would I go through the nonsense it takes to be with her? The trials, running the gauntlets, meeting the objectives, completing missions, just to be with her. Hell no. It's a sense of addressing your desire in a rational way. For instance, this is why I want her, but look at those demands and requirements. As if women are an amazing game, video game, but you need an expensive graphics card or the latest most expensive console to play it, but you want it so bad, then you work hard and save those pennies to get that game and whatever means of hardware you need to play that game. But in order to play it, you have to pay the microtransactions. Then you realize, for however stunning the game may be, it's not worth it. There are too many demands for so little reward. That's the thing. Women can become more ruthless and savage, more promiscuous, more loud and manlike, or even become more toxic. It doesn't matter. The hook is so strong, there will always be men there that will still cater to that to her. It's sad how lust has weakened so many modern men, created so many men that would let a woman walk all over them, just to feel something, feel the weight and pressure, the love, because at least she's there. If you ever think to yourself, you'd do anything for this woman, stop for a second and question that. Stop for a second and question that anything. That doing anything thought has caused many men to do incredibly stupid things. To summarize, understanding the beauty of a woman or women is one thing, but letting it hook you by the balls is not a good look and it lowers the bar for men in general. It lets women get more accustomed to these thirsty fools, accustomed to men that have abandoned their backbones for the sweet taste of fur. They have to have it by all and any means necessary. It's understandable why men are fools to women, especially women that know how to use their sexuality, their hook, to continually fool these thirsty men. In being honest with yourself, it's about knowing full and well what you want, but being honest enough to know if she's going to uplift you or bring you down. Nothing wrong with having a strong desire, but there may be something wrong if you'd give any and everything to fill that desire. To beautiful women, who know how to uplift and genuinely care for a man. To their rarity. To men that are not easily fooled by a pretty face atop a stunning body. To understanding yourself. To focus. Observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.